okay, it's recording. No, it's a never. Hey guys, happy new year. Um, thanks for tuning in. We are Wink Models. I'm Anna. Asha. Hey, and cheers to happy 20... Happy 2018. I was like, wait, what is it? What's the year? Okay, so this Instagram Live, we're gonna be taking questions just direct from you guys. We don't have a topic today, so we just kind of wanted to hear what you guys wanted to talk about. I'll write your questions in the comments. We'll try and get to everyone, but... We don't have all we don't have all day because it's Friday got afternoon. To do. Uh, Asha, what did you do over the uh, over the holidays? Um, I went back to Perth, which is where I'm from. I spent the holidays there with my family. That was fun. And then came back to Perth. What did you do? Oh, so I went back to New York, which is where I'm from. Very very cool. We got a blizzard while we were there. Just hung out with some of my friends and my family. It was really good to catch up with them. Also, my boyfriend came with me, so he got to meet the entire family. So that was really exciting for him and he got to see snow for the first time because he's australian so he was very happy snow. very happy about the blizzard i was not it is way too damn cold so we're getting some questions in here thank you so much guys so so thank, many coming in yeah, so, so many, many people are joining thank you so much for even chiming in we have um chloe underscore vaness is asking us what do you look for in your models Asha, do you want to take that one? I mean, our needs are changing all the time, so I feel like what we look for one week we might change the next. It really depends on the industry, I feel. Yeah. Do you agree with that? Yeah. I feel like the main thing that we look for, I mean, as well as what you look like is just an amazing personality and a drive um, to want to work as a model is something that's super important to us to take you on. You can be the prettiest person in the world, but if you don't have the right attitude, you're probably not going to take you on. I, I mean, like, I also feel like we get a lot of people that come to us and say like, oh, like I've been told like I should be a model. That's not a good excuse. You need to want to be a model. Yeah. You need to have the confidence. It shouldn't be because people tell you. I mean, that's always great. Like when yeah. people are like, you should be a model. That's good too. Like you can take that and pat yourself on the back. That's not really what we look for. We want somebody who's passionate, somebody that's a go-getter, somebody that's um, perhaps sourced some work on their own. That's yeah. always a really good plus for us. Yeah. When people say like, hey, I've never been signed to an agency, but you know, I've, I've um, done this, work. I've done this, I've this done person this. reached out to me on Instagram and I did this shoot yeah. for them. It's always really good to see when people apply and they've already had a whole bunch of work, or they've already done a whole bunch of work themselves without being signed. It just shows kind of your initiative to get work and we know that we feel confident pushing you out to our clients to know that you're 100% ready and willing to work and you've already been doing that before you got signed. It's not a thing that you're just like, oh, I'm going to start working now because I have an agency. It's yeah. like the work kind of happens before then. Great question. Great We're getting a lot of people that are asking how we can apply. Um, so you can just go on our website and head to become a model and the application is all there. However, we do suggest that you have a professional modeling portfolio before you apply. Um, that's your best chance to get in with us because we need, like we said, models that have experience already. So if you don't have that, that's definitely your first step. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. You can always reach out to good photographers and ask if they'll do time for print with you or any of that good stuff. So that's definitely a starting point. In the background. The music just stopped. I'll be back. Oh no. I'll be back. We need to still extend okay. the party. Okay. Oh, got really someone's weird helping quiet. Us. Christina's helping us. She's one of our friends in the office and it's her birthday today. So happy oh, birthday, Christina. Cheers to you. Um, okay, uh, Jasmine Roberts asked us where we are based. So we're based in Australia. Um, right now we are in Sydney, so our head office is in Sydney. Uh, we do have another office in Melbourne um, where our managing director, Sage, and also Simone um, work out of. But we represent talent uh, Australia-wide. So out of these two offices, we're fortunate enough to represent over 700 talent Australia-wide, which makes it um, really easy for our clients to book talent wherever they are. Yeah. Eloise, I'm just sure Hey, beautiful girls. Hey, thanks. Hi. Okay, this is a great question from Pearl Fun. F-U-N-C-H. Shout out to you, Pearl. Uh, how short is too short to become a successful model? This is a good question. I feel like this is like variable. Like, how tall is Kay Moss? I'm like, how successful she is. Also, how tall is Karen Williams, who's our CEO? Yeah. Also a very um, successful commercial model in Australia before she started Wink and now the right fit. I think she's 5'1 or 5'2. 
You can do commercial modeling if you're short or shorter. I think the attitude is changing towards that. You know, I definitely think as well with like social media now and like the introduction of like oh, yeah. you know Instagram models and that kind of thing. I, I feel like the height requirement for models, especially in the commercial era, maybe not in your editorial agency, but definitely the commercial, it's not as much of an issue anymore. It's about having the right look because. Realistically, when you see people in commercials or in print campaigns, if they really like your look, they can make you look taller or shorter depending yeah. on the camera angle and stuff like that. For fashion runway stuff, I think probably, I think the minimum for like... I think it's like 5'9". Five 5'9". Nine. Five for, nine for girls. 5'11 is the bare minimum for guys. That's like the standard. We take on people that are shorter than that all the time. Just have a great look, watch And a great model. attitude. And a great attitude, that's also a good thing. Belle.NavyBox, we just answered that question Belle was asking. She's 163 um, centimeters tall. She was asking what kind of jobs she would get. So I think we covered that one. Also, just feel free to um, post. I think we should open another bottle of champagne. Yeah, we've got another bottle on deck. Zonin. From Zonin. It's one of our faves. So if you think that we should if we think it, we need a top out. <laughs> so Brady's with N Bank. Um, said he's from Perth too, and he's wondering what's your story? How did you get um, out of Perth? <laughs> Yeah. It was a little while ago. I had left Perth when I was 18, right after I finished school. I was kind of itching to get out of there, so I booked a one way ticket to New York by myself at 18, which is kind of crazy now that I think about it. I spent about three months in New York as long as I could live there without um, a work visa. New York? New York. Oh my god, imagine if we did and we just didn't remember. I, wanted to, I had to come back to Australia obviously after my three months was up, and I had enough money to either continue traveling to I'll um, come back to Sydney and kind of set myself up um, over here and that's what I did. So I moved straight back to Sydney and I set myself up and that was, what, seven years ago now? Wow. Yeah. So yeah, I feel like it, it definitely takes a lot of guts and it's something that I, you know, I was very young when I did it. I think if I was to do it at this age, I'd probably be a lot more scared. <laughs> I, don't, I don't really think much about it and I was like, yeah, let's just, just yeah, like, let's go to New York. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think you're just going to take a leap. Um, if you want to leave, you can. There's so much opportunity over here as well. So. Oh. Hey. Hi. Hi there. Hello. Is this thing on? Testing one, two, three. <laughs> we interrupt your normally scheduled broadcasting to bring you this important announcement. My camera died. My camera dies. But well, we're new to this. We're gonna we're gonna step it up next time. <laughs> we're gonna do better next time. We promise. We're gonna charge our camera. Yeah. Battery. First step: charge the camera. If you really enjoyed our video, we're gonna be making plenty more. We're really enjoying making these videos and doing our Instagram lives. So if you are also enjoying watching us, make sure you either subscribe on our YouTube channel or you can leave a bunch of comments on our Instagram. It's we're at Wink Models. You should let us know if there's any topics you want us to talk about. If there's anything you want to know specifically from us. Comment below. Is that what's gonna happen? I don't know. Maybe comment below or subscribe below. to or us. Subscribe, subscribe. To if you've got some interesting questions or you want us to cover a certain topic on one of these videos, make sure that you let us know. Let us know. <laughs> Done. Done. I'm gonna go charge the camera now. <laughs> Bye. Bye.